you like $500? I certainly would. Well, just mention uh, King Brown when you come up here to the Sunshine Trail caravan workshop to pick up your caravan and say, yeah, I'm here to buy a caravan because King Brown told me about it and then I'll get $500. Because <laughs> that's what these guys do. If you refer someone on, you get uh, $500 in cash back. Sounds like a good deal to me. But anyway, that's not the reason why I bought the caravan. And uh, I have my brand new caravan here. I'm here at the um, the Rockley Sunshine Trail caravan headquarters. I'm the first one here at 6 o'clock in the morning, so on a Saturday. <laughs> and uh, I just came in early. I wanted to beat the traffic, but it didn't work. The traffic is still pretty bad in Brisbane, apparently. It's 6 o'clock on a Saturday morning. And uh, yep, here comes the truck. Yeah, so that, that backfired on me a little bit, but that's okay. It's actually quite easy to get to. Um, and that's my little blue beauty over there. Very nice. It's the prettiest caravan in the whole yard. I think it's the first one they've done in blue. And uh, it's a new model. And the boys will be here shortly. And give us a bit of a rundown on it all. How it all works and how it all goes together and what I've got to do. Got a lot to learn today. Then I'm heading back and uh, setting it up at Olsenville for the night with some friends who are doing a bit of a camp up and gathering. And uh, yeah, going to stay there and test it out tonight and see how we go from there. But anyway, I might go find another coffee shop somewhere and top up my coffee. And I'll come back a bit later. Right and all, King Brown here. Very exciting day for me today. I'm actually at the, um, up here at Rock Lee, picking up a new caravan. This has been a long time in the coming. I've actually, uh, when did I order this? Well, I started looking actually back in March or April last year. I was at the Nambour Expo anyway. There just happened to be a, uh, a caravan salesman set up at the Expo right beside me, my mate Daryl. And he was in every day getting some damper off me. And uh, I was discussing with him that I'd be interested in buying a caravan later that year and I had a bit of a look around at the stuff he was selling at the time and yeah, nothing really suited. Um, but I said, listen, I'm gonna go and look at all these other vans throughout the year and I'll, you know, it might pick your brain and get a bit of advice off you from time to time. He said, yeah, yeah, no worries. And he said, I'll keep an eye out because he knew exactly what I was looking for. I had a bit of a list of requirements, you know, um, off-road, obviously, because I go off-road a bit at the back of Burke. Uh, yeah, but um, just some simple things. I didn't want anything too fancy, but I wanted uh, professionally made, not just be a rattly mess that's going to fall apart on me or anything like that. And, um, you know, getting chassis breaking and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, throughout the year, I looked at a few different ones and just weren't quite ticking the boxes. There's an awful lot of those, uh, like the one behind me here, uh, soft tops around and that seemed to be the trend. Not really interested in one of those. In my opinion, it's just something else that can go wrong down the track. Um, I'm happy just to open the door and walk in and uh, have all the headroom with my hat on. So anyway, uh, yeah, looked around and uh, was getting a bit desperate at the end of the year. I only had one expo left and uh, I'd looked at pretty much everything and I thought, well, I'll go duck over and have a look in Daryl's yard again and see what he's got. But I didn't know, but Daryl had changed jobs. He doesn't work for that lot anymore, and he was working for another lot. So anyway, I've gone to go looking for Daryl at the expo early in the morning, one morning, and on the way over, I found this other brand of caravan, the Sunshine Trail. It was very early in the morning. There was no one else really there. There was a young girl there opening them up and getting it ready for the day, but there was no salespeople or anything there. 
and I just said, oh, do you mind if I have a look inside? I'd, you know, that's not a bad looking little setup. And yeah, yeah, so it was, anyway, she opened it up and we I had a bit of a look around, you know, I was climbing in and out of it and I was like, this is ticking an awful lot of boxes in this caravan. I'm pretty happy. And then I got talking to her and I said, the only thing I don't like is I don't like these soft tops. I'm looking for hard tops. She said, oh, no, we've got hard tops as well. I said, oh, okay. And I said, oh, I don't like the door at the back here near the bed. I like the door to be at the other end of the bed. Oh, no, she said. Yeah, we got the door at the other end as well on some models. And I said, oh. Anyway, and I was in and out of a couple and I was thinking, gee, I might have to go and tell me, mate, that I actually think I found one. And uh, I turned around to walk out the door of the caravan and guess who was standing at the door of the caravan? Me, mate, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, he said, oh, he said, I'm going to come and see you. He said, I found a caravan for you. <laughs> I said, did you really? He said, yeah. He said, this lot here, he said, they're, they're the good bands. He said, I'm working for them now, so I'll be bugging. I said, well, I've already pretty much had a look around and like what I see. And uh, anyway, they, um, um, he had one in the yard he wanted me to come and look at, uh, next demo model, so I was going to go and look at that, and I came back over, and then I met the boss, Jack, lovely bloke. And he's going, Ronnie, why don't you just get one built? Get a new one. I was like, yeah. He said, the new models are, you know, they're the duck's guts. I thought, well, you talk me into it. <laughs> Got to have the best for the king. So anyway, we had a bit of a discussion and uh, come up with a plan. And uh, I chose the colour. And a uh, bit of a gamble. I, uh, I'm not real good at picking colours on walls or anything like that. I'd, I wouldn't have a bloody painter's idea. So I went, yeah, blue will do. So anyway, the, apparently the colour scheme is actually called Royal Blue. That's pretty apt, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, I'm sitting here looking at it now. I'll just turn this around. We can figure out where the camera button is. It'll focus on the wire, obviously. There's always the camera on. Anyway, she's sitting there. And uh, I will be... Uh, Doing the handover, we'll be doing the handover and picking up very soon. And uh, sooner, the sooner the bloody better when we get out of here. I don't think the traffic's going to get any better, but it is what it is. It's certainly getting worse. There's trucks everywhere. Here we go, another one. Here we go, everyone's looking at me. Who's this fool over here I'm walking around with a camera on a bloody selfie stick? <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that's the plan. New caravan coming up, new camp. She's got all the mod cons. Two showers, one indoor and one outdoor. Toilet. I mean, I've got my camper trailer at home. I've got my camper trailer at home, which I dearly, dearly love. This, this, it's a swag camper. Um, it's been fantastic. It was bored in an absolute emergency. I was literally driving on the way to... Uh, a big event with nowhere to sleep and I picked it up on the way through I just drove past it and went yeah that'll do uh, paid cash for it drove it out I basically had to come back for it the next day or whatever but yeah picked it up and I think the best night's sleeps I've had in 25 30 years has been every time I sleep in that thing I just sleep so good I absolutely adore it but it's just not suitable for what I do, um, you know, I, as much as I'd like to say I go camping for a living, I go working for a living and I'm just camping where I'm working. I mean, there is a difference. If I was camping, I go somewhere, you set up your camp, you get yourself comfortable and you hang around and you have a good time. And that's the end of it. And at the end of it, you pack it up and you head home. But when you're working, you know, I'm driving long distances, I need to pull over and I'd like to be able to pull over and have a sleep, which I can't really with the camper trailer. I've usually got stuff packed up on top, but I have to unload all that, you know, set it all up. So that's out. So I'm using motels when I'm driving from one on the long jobs. Uh, you know, then I get there. I've got a couple of hours to set it all up, and which is fine. But then I've got to set up my shop and everything else and my workspace. Yeah, it's a big job. It's a couple of days, last one I used it for, um, yeah, three days of uh, working, doing cooking demonstrations and stuff non-stop, running my shop. 
at the end of it, uh, this has happened the last couple of times I've used it, I've realized that this morning was a very heavy fog. And if I stay overnight at the end of the day, and say it's, for instance, a Sunday afternoon, show's over, I'm leaving Monday morning as the plan, but then I'm realizing if I stay at a night, I gotta wait till lunchtime for this thing to dry up. That's if it doesn't rain, because the fogs are so heavy. So that was happening to me quite a lot. And uh, so at the end, instead of just being able to relax and then get up on the Monday morning and poke around and pack the whole thing up and hit the road, I'm doubling up. I'm having to do all the work to pack everything up on that night right away at the end of it and hit the road and try and find somewhere to stay that night. And yeah, it's just been absolutely exhausting um, to be able to do it that way. And yeah, it needed to change. And even when I was catering, I always, you know, the plan was always to get myself a van. I needed my own space where I could get clean, um, shower, the toilet. And importantly for me, you know, when I'm driving the long distances, I'm not a young man anymore. I, I like to, um, I like to be able to pull over and have a sleep. And I usually just pull over and park the car under a tree and doze off in the car. But yeah, take my time in the trips, uh, look after my health and everybody else on the road <laughs> don't put anyone else in danger pull over have a sleep uh you know walk back out hop in the van and keep going so it was a no-brainer for me to buy the caravan at all really um instead of the swag trailer it's just that's just been hard work for me um, highly recommend it if you're into camping it's that swag trailer was the camper was fantastic i really did enjoy it um, it's for sale too, by the way, if anyone's interested, send me a message. Uh, I, I haven't been home often enough to be able to advertise it because I, I'm usually a thousand k's from where it is, but uh, I'm home for a few weeks now, so I'll, I'll be pumping the for sale signs all, all over the internet, um, gum tree and all that, I guess, to try and get rid of it as quick as I can. Because uh, at this stage, I'd rather the cash in my bank than the, than the trailer in the yard, you know? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go and finish this coffee. Hopefully uh, Daryl and Jack, the boss, will be here soon, I'm hoping, and pick up my new caravan and head off for an adventure in that. Two big toolboxes on the back here, nice bright lights, I like that. Um, nice big spaces there, spare tyre and a nice cover. Looks very nice from the back. Uh, they've got extra tinting on the windows. Their windows are apparently are a bit different to the older models, which are tinted, but they're quite transparent. And these ones are very dark, I really liked that. Uh, very good for privacy. A bit of a private person. When I'm finished work, I like my privacy. Love that step. Lights up at night so you can see it there easily. Get in and out. Good chunky tyres. This is the sink and the kitchen setup. Door just folds down. This all just slides in. Plenty of little cupboards for knickknacks and stuff, and drawers for your knives and forks, and um, four burner gas stove. This all comes out, it's one, it's just a, 
a single hand push button down and out it slides and that'll be where the fridge goes just in there we were just on the other side there a minute ago and it's like a expandable toolbox there we go you can opens up just i did that one handed just then easy as more storage and space in there um super went back in Another little box up there for knickknacks or whatever. We've got outdoor speakers, um, table. That looks like it's just the right length for a bottle of um, Captain Morgan rum and my cup. Looks like a little cutting board or something there. Um, up here we've got, a, we've got a level but we've, this is also the uh, bracket for the, the TV and another speaker so there's two speakers the bracket for the TV the hand grip is even lit up look at that how flash is that uh, bit of an indoor kitchen I opted for some simplicity in here phones phones ringing <laughs> So we're inside, nice big um, bed, it's a uh, king in length. King yeah. size long and between a king and a queen wide. Yeah, between a king and a queen wide, so it's certainly big enough for me. And uh, lots of cupboard space up there, there's a skylight too, uh, nice big skylight. The windows are fantastic, Daryl was showing me how they work earlier. We've got, we've got screens, insect screens, we've got privacy screens. Um, yeah, there we go. Privacy screens that lift up, insect screens that come down. All click in. They all click in, lock, they lock together. So you can move them like that as one. Um, very clever. Dual four, four, four locks to actually lock the window for, for travel so that it gets nice and secure and doesn't rattle. Several stages they can open up in two and they just click in nicely and yeah, very well constructed. Cupboards everywhere you look. Cupboards and things all up around here. Um, Removable TV. Yeah, this is the TV that goes out to the front. And on that front bracket, but it's just sitting there. Dressing table type thing there. I've got a, a nice lounge chair here, but uh, there's also the the um, bracket to sit that table. That's out there in the drawers. I can sit there up and have a little kitchen table here if I want as well. Yeah, more cupboards there, air conditioning. A lot of personal cupboards along the side. Oh yeah, yeah I saw them earlier, yeah. All the way along there. And they They're go, nice and deep too. Yeah. And they go right up to the top of the bed head, whereas there's some more hidden away. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a bit of an alcove up in there near yeah, the, charge the, the chargers like. and stuff. Yeah, we've got little lights. I didn't notice them earlier. I like them lights. Good little book lights. So you've got four USB and two 12 volt outlets at your bed head. Right. Oh, that's no worries. Plenty of, plenty of charging there. Yeah. Um, this is the heater, isn't it? This is all one, is it? Air, air conditioning heater. air conditioning, heater. conditioning um, reverse cycle air conditioning. Right. Reverse cycle air conditioning. So the diesel operates the heating section of that. No. No, no, that's a separate thing. Separate. Yeah. Right. Okay, you'll teach the me how to do that. This is the outlet here for the diesel. Oh, oil. okay. So that's adjustable. Oh, radio. Yeah. So where do you start that all at? I'll go start at this end. So on this one here, that's the turn the inverter on for your red arc system. Yep. And that's your diesel heater there. Right. The switch for that. That's for the output. That's the outlet. Yeah. Coming through here, because of the double pole system we've set up on this van, the first click will give you um, sh um, power to all the onshore power to all the power points, and the second click will allow you to. Well, I did two in one go. Two. No, you got another one. It goes right round to the side. Yep. It'll allow you to use the inverter. Right. To, to so the first the one's 240 volt, basically. Yeah, yeah shore power. So, yeah. Okay. okay. This one here is for your um, gas hot water system. Right. So to push it, you, get, you obviously take the cover off the back. Yeah. That I showed you before. Yep. 
um, sure you've got your gas bottle turned on. Up is for 60 degrees and down is 70 degrees. Oh, okay. Now if it has a red light come on, which this one has, it's a failure. Mm -hmm. And the failure is that we have no gas. And There's no gas cover. bottle hooked up here, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we've got the cover on as well. Yeah, right. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, so we've got a fridge in the indoor kitchen. Yep, microwave. Microwave. Uh, I opted for the microwave because I like scrambled eggs and it's an easy way to do it. Got your um, sink here. Yeah, we've got a sink that just lifts up in there, indoor sink. And it's a dual action, the further you push the handle back, the hotter the water. Oh, okay, yep, yep. Otherwise you just use it as cold. You even have the ex exhaust for the, um, for the, when you're cooking, yep. get rid of the smells out of the caravan. Yep. And some, just some drawers down there, are they? Yeah, further drawers, uh, that's underneath the sink, so you can yep. put some towels and so forth. Yep. Under here is your electronics. Oh, look at that. So that'll give you your two tanks, which are 120 litres each. Right. Um, of fresh water, and then your grey water is 80 litres. Right. And so it gives you how much is available. So the, uh, the third one, that's the grey. Yeah, the third one's grey water. Yeah, right, yeah. What else we got going on there? So at the moment we've got an overcast day and we're still pulling in We're actually pulling in 16 amps. We're using the red arc to measure that but it's giving <coughs> 16 amps from the solar power Right coming in 17 right. yep. variable okay. That'll even pull in um, obviously there's solar panels on the roof Solar panels yeah. on the roof, yeah. <laughs> right, Just checking so your water pump <coughs> switch right TV switch right and then all your sockets <coughs> allows you to charge tablets or right telephones so the fridge switch yep. right and that'll just turn it on to operate everything on whatever the setting is down here so we're on what's what's it on now it's on the middle one yeah it's on the middle one what's the middle one Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. It's all off. It's left or right. Yeah. Um, so you've got an override switch here. Turn your lights and so Turns forth. Turns everything off. off. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Um, your radio's down here. It's a, it's an indoor and outdoor speaker options yep. on it. And it's Bluetooth as well. Okay. Very and good. And also play a CD. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not anymore. Here. No, it's old tech. Uh, along here is a list of um, fuse switches. So should something fail, you just, it's a case of pushing it to reset. Yeah, right. Yep. Make it quite easy for you. Yep. All right, and over here we've got bathrooms, amenities box, separated shower. Oh, well. okay. Yeah, we've got a shower in there. Oh, that's very fancy looking. Plenty of room for a big bloke like me. And. Um, Oh, there's miles of room in here. Plenty of room. Awesome. Bit more storage up in there. Fence. It's actually like a, a safe because it's locked in there. It's a steel, steel door. Oh, there. really? So you can put all your secret stuff. Ah. Dry toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> all the money. Yeah, put all the cash. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. It's on video. Everyone put else me, is me secret damper <laughs> recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is steel, it's like a prison, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, stainless steel. Awesome. Then you've got nothing flimsy here. You've got lights oh, okay. for there, and yeah. you've got a two way switch here, which is exhaust and input. Yeah. You obviously have to open up the cover. Right. right. And, um, oh, okay. I'll keep everything nice and fresh. Right. Make sure that's always down when you're traveling. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got overriding switches here as well. All oh, right, yeah. Awesome. Well, that all works. Yeah, very nice looking shower actually. Good little view to look out while you're having a shower. <laughs> About 2.4 metres. Um, that's one piece as you can see it. Uh, it has inserts that you can put in afterwards if you want to to make it fully enclosed as a floor and it has a skirt for the caravan for the caravan air operated we have 
four inlets that you can use it to blow it up with. It comes with its own um, air pump, it's five PSI. Yep. It takes me between five and seven minutes to blow up. And like I said, the big part of it is just one piece. Yeah, what a great idea. Fantastic. Yeah, just zip it along the top there in the rail. Yep. One pull through, walk in there, and there's a switch up in there. See if I can see that switch up there. Uh, that's in there in the corner. And um, turn it on and she blows itself up. How easy is that? Plus, I've also got, that's the annex, I've also got the... Um, full size awning. The full size awning, yeah. 2.4 metres. Um, you can put attachments to that as well if you want to put lightweight canvases on it. Yeah, um, the walls and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. You could also put um, any flap kit through it all, and it'll give you more options as well. But yep. having the airframe annex, you really don't need to have, have it. Oh, that's right. The switch in that one, that's not for that, is it? No, I did that wrong. I'll have to cut that bit out. <laughs> yeah, I've got the wrong carrier. And the switch is on this one to make that's, the... Maybe you still yeah, you only the, need it for the annex, the switch. Yeah, the switch, yeah. The other, yeah, the annex yeah. actually has the um, the air pump, air the air pump. pump. You plug that into the socket and plug it into the annex and it'll blow itself up. This one's just got the switch inside there, the door there, and it'll just automatically unfold out and you just drop the legs down. Yeah, it's absolutely. Very easy. Yeah. And easy to adjust the height as you, as you yeah. want to. Yeah, just, yeah. just like that. And uh, nice. Mine's got the same setup, and uh, this isn't mine, obviously, it's a different colour. <laughs> and uh, we'll go back out and have a look at mine. It's the annex is already set up in this one, so we came in this workshop. But there's plenty of caravans here to have a look at, uh, plenty of options. You can come on down here to the big shed, and there's some out there in the yard as well, and, and um, get yourself sorted out with a nice caravan like I have. Yeah, well, I'm in the yard here, ready to go, and I uh, just thought I'd give you a bit of a look around at some of the options that are in here. Got an X-Demo model here. There's actually a few X-Demo models here, because I think they've got the new range in, and well, from what Daryl was saying, once they saw how beautiful and pretty blue my caravan was, they decided they needed to sell some of these other ones and fill up the yard with some nice-looking blue ones. Um, so anyway, I'll just turn this camera around here so you can have a bit of a look. There's quite a few options out here in the yard. There's quite a few in the shed. It's, a, it's well worth coming for a look. And um, yeah, there's so, soft tops. There's a hard top there like mine, that one. It's a hard top one. And uh, yeah, there's soft tops there. Bunks, no bunks. This is the next demo here. It's got next demo written all over it. It's a 15 foot pop top. Um, immediate delivery, it says on that sign there. No bunks. Okay, so you've got different options here. I think this one over here has got bunks, yeah, it says bunks. They're all very robust. I love these big rails they've got around them. Uh, big rock sliders. I don't think I'll be going that wild a country, but good to know it's all there. And um, that's another 15 footer hard top. Mine's a bit bigger. That's mine over there. I'm just about ready to hook onto him. And uh, this is the workshop and the office area. Yeah, it's a great setup. Big shed in there, full of caravans. Um, they've got the annexes set up and everything in there, so it's well worth coming over and having a browse in there. But look at that. How good is that? Royal blue for the King Brown. Um, we've had a bit of a walk through. I'll just do a bit of a run through now. Um, yeah, I've got spaces at the front here for the gas bottles. Two gas bottles, one each side. Um, me diesel tank for the diesel heater. I've got a diesel heater. Um, spare big space in there, nice big cavity in there. Uh, more space in here. The fridge obviously goes there. I've got a few bits and pieces. There's the dining tables actually in there. I can set it up if I want. I probably will because I'll use it as an office table. The shower, the outdoor shower is right here. Uh, it just unzips, it's a self-contained little shower cubicle on the outside, which would be, I think, a fantastic idea. Um, yeah, you fill the diesel up in there. 
what else we got out here? I actually don't know what half of this stuff is out here. Obviously, that's where the power goes in. I'll have to ask what that is. I don't know what that is. I better not touch it. I might break it. What have we got here, Daryl? All right, that's the shower cover. Um, oh, yeah, right. <coughs> for the gas. So click, click it like that to take it off. Yeah. Try not to break it. Yeah. Um, you need that hope to have that off when you do the turn the gas on. Right. Um, it's part of the law. What I usually say to people is put some type of um, drill a hole and put in like a wire brace or something like a fishing line. Yeah. Just to see that lose it. Yeah, yeah, right. hooked up here today and uh, ready to go down and test out my new Sunshine Trail Caribbean. Thank you very much, Daryl. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, come, he's the man to see. If you want to interested in one of these um, new, new, new caravans, come and see Daryl. He'll sort you right out. Yeah, we can get them out to you pretty quick. And, yeah, um, they got stock here ready to go. So we also got many colours, as you can see by blue's the best though. <laughs> <laughs> they come in red as well. They come in red as well. Yeah, yeah. blue one's the best. And there's a bit of side advertising. We've actually got boats too. Yeah, true. Yeah, they're, they're actually they're not a bad looking fishing boat. I was looking at that earlier. Yeah. I'll have to come back for the boat. How do you tow two things? Can I get a road <laughs> train going? <laughs> anyway, time to get going. All right, all the best, Lip. See yep. you at Nambour. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good one. We'll too. Yeah. Here he goes with his new caravan. Picked up from Sunshine Trail. We're going to have the stall next to him at Nambour, so we'll, if you go and see King Brown, come and see us afterwards. Here he goes. <laughs> Big wave. And there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> 